This right here is Slate Mountain. Unlike the cinder cone and the shield volcano that erupted onto the surface of the Earth, this is a kind of volcano known as a lava dome where essentially the not lava never quite erupted up to the surface. It kind of filled in the space underground, and like an inflating balloon, that lava continued to expand out, and the overlying sedimentary rock kind of wrapped around that dome of lava. So lava domes are characterized by exogenous and endogenous. Endogenous means that the lava stays within that kind of bubble underneath the surface. But sometimes, later eruptions can pierce the surface and erupt over the side of the dome, so that's an exogenous lava dome. So Slate Mountain is an exogenous dome. You can see it's kind of got its main dome, but then there are other areas where lava might have flowed out at later times, and then other pockets where it kind of ballooned up again. So here in the San Francisco volcanic field, the mountains that are misshaped, not quite cones like a cinder cone, and not big pointy mountains like Stratovolcano, they're typically what you would call lava domes. And the reason these lava domes are different than shield volcanoes has to do with the mineral composition of that molten magma. So earlier I was talking about how sometimes magma have, can have volatiles inside of it that when it erupts, explode to create lava fountains. Well. There's another thing that makes up the content of the magma, and that's the minerals themselves. And the most important main mineral that we're going to be talking about is silica, SiO2. That makes up about 90% of the Earth's crust. Now, basalt has a silica content of about 55%, and it gives it kind of a low viscosity. The higher percentage of silica inside of the magma, the more and more viscous that will become. So once you get above 60, 65, 70% silica, then you get into other kinds of magmas known as rhyolite. And that slow moving viscous magma doesn't flow like basalt. So that's when you get these lava domes forming. The magma is so viscous that it can't really flow out like a shield volcano. And instead it kind of builds up and creates these domes underground that shape the surrounding landscape into mountains that we see today. Mountains here in northern Arizona are all the result of volcanic activity. But not all mountains are actually volcanoes. You can have mountains forming from collisions of tectonic plates on the Earth, like the Himalayas. You can also have mountains that form through processes of erosion. So if you have like a, a harder rock on top of lower lying sedimentary rocks, erosion can actually carve out a mountain from the top down as that cap rock protects its underlying rock layers. So not all mountains are volcanoes, but here in northern Arizona, most of the mountains that you see are the result of volcanic activity occurring over the past six million years or so.